Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, everyone. Thank you for being tuned in to uh, another episode of Wake Up and Win with your girl, Dr. Najuma. Good morning. Happy April 1st. Happy Resurrection Monday. Y'all know the drill. Come on, say with me. Wake up and win. Wake up and win. Wake up and win. <laughs> I am super excited about today. And so glad to have you all tuned in with another broadcast of Wake Up and Win with your girl, Dr. Njuma. Listen, I haven't been on in a minute because I have been working on the writing project that I finished last night. And usually I use my, my morning hours to write because that's when my brain is fresh. That's when my writing flows. And so when I'm on a working, when I'm writing, when I'm doing a writing project, um, my mornings are my best writing time. And so I'm not always able to get on with you all, but it's April 1st. And I certainly want to kick off this month with a mighty uh, wake up and win word. But before I do that, let me reintroduce myself. I am your girl, Dr. Najuma. I am a pastor um, and a spiritual life coach. And I do a lot of civic and community engagement work here in the L.A. Um, and I use this platform and the wake up and win word to encourage those who've been through any kind of major loss to encourage you to know that you can go through a major loss, recover, restore, rebuild, renew, and get back out there and win again. Um, through my personal story of losing my son and other traumatic experiences, this is what I know for sure. And so I use this platform to offer a daily win word um, to anyone that is going through a major loss or has been through a major loss to say, hey, you can recover and we can restore, we can rebuild, and we can get back out there and win again. Amen. So let's get into our wake up and win word for today. And, and this and the wake up and win word for today is set your standard. Set your standard. Set your standard. Listen, just because you've been through some things, just because we've gone through some things does not mean that you have to accept anything. Just because you've gone through some things, just because we've gone through some things does not mean you have to accept anything. And here's what I mean by that. Part of what I have seen is that certain people, not all, who have seen you go down or maybe not go down, but go through a major loss, who see and recognize a vulnerability will often use times of vulnerability to leverage for their benefit, right? When they know that you've gone through a divorce or you've lost, you know, a job or, you know, in my case, I lost my son. So just being really hurt and heartbroken. There are people that feed off of the vulnerability of others, right? And when you are vulnerable, and this is what I've learned from, from making the mistake of not being clear about boundaries and standards is that when you are vulnerable, part of what you have to do, especially, and, and also while you're restoring and rebuilding is set a standard for yourself and for your life, because it's in that state of vulnerability that we can accept, allow, engage in behaviors, activities, relationships that are not in our best interest. And because there are, there are those people who prey on that, they prey on vulnerability, they prey on you being broken heart, they prey on you being hurt, they prey on you being in uh, a sad state or even a depressed state, they prey on that and they prey on it to leverage it for their benefit, whatever that benefit means for them. And so I want to encourage you while you are, even if you're fresh in loss or maybe you've come through some time and you're in that rebuilding, restoring, renewing process, I want to encourage you in this process, set, set your boundaries and your standards and set them very high. And here's why, because it's in those moments of vulnerability, we can be vulnerable to to people and to stuff. And I can say from my own experience, but also what I see scripturally, right? Like I can see where I made decisions or allowed certain things because I was in a vulnerable state, vulnerable state after losing my son, a vulnerable state after going through another divorce, a vulnerable state after, you know, being challenged financially. And what I had to learn the hard way, I had to learn the hard way, but I learned it and I 
put those things in my life is to set healthy boundaries and standards. Not because you don't, you know, you're trying to push people away, but because there are certain people that prey on that. They prey on you being hurt, broken, distraught, despondent, despair, whatever. And they want to use it and leverage it for their benefit. And when you see that in people, when you, when you, when, and let me say this, if you feel it's happening, more than likely it's happening. If you feel it happening, more than likely it's happening. Your mind's not playing tricks on you. It really could be happening. But you have to decide that. Do Use your discernment. Ask all the right questions of God. Pray about it. God will reveal who's not for you in this season. But the win word for today is set your standards and set them high. And then once you set them, there, there are some things, I will say this, there are some things that I allowed in my vulnerable state that I would that that I would never allow, I would have never allowed had I not been vulnerable at those moments or in that season. And because there were things that I allowed in a vulnerable state, there are people who even in, in this current season of my life have come to me with things, have asked me questions, asked me to do things, you know, Ask, ask for stuff. And I've been like, why would they think that? Oh, the reason they thought they could ask that is because when I was vulnerable, I allowed certain things. I said, yes, I opened the door and okay. So I got, I repair for that. And let me change that real quick. Let me change that real quick. But when you are, when you've gone through a major loss and you're in that rebuilding, restoring, renewing, refreshing process, you've got to set your standards and your boundaries very high. Got to set them because there are people that prey on vulnerable vulnerabilities. They prey on vulnerabilities. And the goal, God wants to get you whole again so you can get back out there and win. God gives, wants to get you strong again so you can get back out there and win. God wants to get you clear again so you can get back out there and win. And so part of how we get through this season restore, recover, renew, rebuild, and get back out there and win again is to create healthy boundaries. I had to, at, one, at some point, create different boundaries with people. And it wasn't easy, but I recognized, oh, you're saying that, you're inviting that, you're doing that, you're, okay, because you think, because I'm vulnerable, I get it. Let me change my standard. So establish new standards. And let me say this, establishing standards are healthy even if you haven't gone through a major loss and you're not restoring, rebuilding, recovery. Having high standards is just good life practice. It's good for those, it's good for just anybody and everybody, no matter what you're going through. Having high standards is just healthy. It's good, it's right, it's holy. And I just wanna encourage you today, one of the ways we get back out there and win is to set high standards for yourself. Set high standards for yourself. So you can guard your heart, guard your mind, guard your life, guard your process, guard your process, and get back out there only. Amen. So thank you for joining on joining us for today's win word. Um, super excited to be back this month with you this month of April. It's we're in spring. I have an indoor garden. My plants are starting to bud. I see new foliage coming up. I am super excited. The flowers are starting to pop open and bloom and pop open. And so we are in the spring season, even though it's pretty cold here right now in Los Angeles, but we're in spring season and it's a beautiful, glorious day. So listen, let's get up, let's get out there and let's go in. Keep your standards high. You are worthy. You deserve it. And, um, and it's the best thing for you, best thing for us. So keep your standards high and let's get up, let's get out there and let's go win. And listen, before you log off, before you sign out, do me three favors, like, share, and subscribe, like, share, and subscribe, like, share, and subscribe, and let somebody know to join us every day, join us every day, tune in every day for the wake up and win word. We out y'all, peace.